We start with believing in the Buffaloes. Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes went into TCU and announced they were for real, rolling the Horned Frogs 45-42. Deion also, Brew, keeping receipts. Take a listen. Yeah, I love yeah. it. You believe now? You, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh no. Do you believe that? Huh? Oh no, no, no. I read through that bull junk you wrote down. I read through that. I sifted it through all that. Yeah. Oh no. Come on. Do you believe? I sifted through it. He doesn't read I sifted, man. I barely read it. I'm not giving you the credit to read that bull junk. All right. So the question to you, bro, is do you believe in Coach Prime in the Buffalo? Do I believe? Here's what I believe. And I say this in full sincerity. We were talking before the show just a minute ago, but Deion Sanders is special. Special. And I don't mean just because he's a world-class athlete or was a world-class athlete mm-hmm. in two sports. Like, he, he, hit, he hit 533 in the World Series. <laughs> so this guy was world-class in both sports, baseball and football. But – I don't mean that. I mean every once in a while, there, especially we're talking sports, there is someone who is special beyond just their ability. Muhammad Ali, I say LeBron James right now, mm-hmm. like what he does off the court. I really believe LeBron James could one day be president of the United States if he wanted to. I don't know that he wants to, but if he did, I, I really think he could win it. And Deion Sanders is in that group where his strength of personality – His confidence, his joy is just infectious and his knowledge of the game and coaching ability. Now, we've always talked about how very few like all time great players translate to being great coaches or talent evaluators. This he's an exception. Because he's clearly a great coach. Jackson State, where he coached the HBCU, he went 27 and 6. And they had not had a winning season in six years before he got there. He just automatically turned him around. So I believe in Coach Prime. I believe in his son, Shakur Sanders, the quarterback. I believe in uh, Travis Hunter, the (laughs) receiver quarterback or uh, cornerback. cornerback. And I believe in the Edwards kid. I think it was Dylan Edwards who was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And here's the last thing I'll say, Nick. I believe he's already – turn the program around. Now, I'm not predicting Pac-12 championship, yep. playoff appearance, anything like that. But he has already turned them into a legitimate top college program. Like, they were 1-11 last year. They were 1-11, and, and, and the team they played was in already. the national championship yes. game. So, so they, 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 they I, weren't one in eleven. The, no, the no, Colorado but the, the program. Ran, no, yeah, of the, course, the uniform a whole was one team. in eleven. Yes, but, right, but the, the <laughs> reason it's a whole different program is because of Prime. Yeah. Right. And I and understand people TCU. Criticize you for that. Right. And I understand TCU doesn't have Max Duggan. I get all that. But geez, this was okay. Colorado has not beaten a team ranked this highly since two thousand nine. No coach in FCS history since the FCS FBS split forty five right. years ago has won their debut as a 20-point dog until Coach Prime did it other than the interim head coach. So that's the context for what we just saw. But once again, and I was smiling when Brew was talking, because he and my our wavelengths, without saying a word to each other before the show until five minutes ago, right. we're exactly aligned. LeBron for president. Which is <laughs> <laughs> probably that, yeah, okay. that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Um, this is a good line, Wilds. Um, Sports Illustrated will probably write a story about Bruce saying LeBron could be president. Um, Deion Sanders is writing a sports story that's never been written. And if we are talking about, you know, sometimes when we talk about Kareem and we say, did he have the greatest basketball life? Right. High school, college, pro. Mm-hmm. It, not the GOAT debate, just yes. the greatest basketball life. The answer is yeah. yes, it's kind of undeniable. Deion Sanders is making an argument for the greatest American sports story ever. Deion, think of, just let me, let me make the case for a moment. Okay. Deion Sanders, one of the greatest college players in the history of the sport, mm-hmm. is a part of the greatest top five of a draft in NFL history. His top five had Troy Aikman, Barry Sanders, Derek Thomas, and himself as four of the picks. He then went on to become arguably the single greatest defensive player in NFL history, Mm -hmm. 
inarguably the greatest at his position, while having a side gig that lasted 10 years of being a damn good Major League Baseball player. Hit 260 yeah. doing that. He now has a chance to join a list of, like, Bill Russell, Larry Bird, Mike Ditka of all-time legendary players who were good to great coaches. Russell was a player coach, obviously. Right. And Bird it didn't do great and, just and, as by, a coach. Right. right. Bird, yeah. it was short, but three right. years, took the Pacers to the finals, and obviously Ditka – one of the greatest tight he's the best example, one of the greatest tight ends ever, and then a great coach. Dion, Bruce had 27 and 6, but it was even better than that at Jackson State. Because three of those losses and all of his conference losses came in his first year, which was the COVID right. year. His two full years there, they were 23 and 1, I believe, or 23 and 23 and 3. Yeah, 17 yeah. game win yeah, streak. Yeah, yeah. 23 mean. and 3, undefeated in the conference. And it is to see, and by the way. I didn't even include the fact, oh, yeah, while he was the greatest corner ever, he also moonlighted not just as a baseball player, but as maybe the best kick returner ever and an occasional yeah. wide receiver. Yeah. Right. Like, the, the, And so there's just no sports story. If he becomes a great coach, which he is clearly so far, becoming, for sure. if Dion wanted to, like I watched, we all watched LSU get their teeth kicked in this weekend, right? And the, the – Great to hear. Well – so think about it. I just I, if Brian Kelly is an unimpeachably excellent college football coach. There's nobody could argue against it. He has a great record. How do you think Nick Saban? Do you think Nick Saban and Kirby Smart, if they got to decide, like, hey, next year Kelly stays or Dion takes over at LSU? What do you think they're rooting for? Because Kelly. I'm, yeah, of Absolutely. course, yeah. because and that because I am if you the. I am not doubting Dion's X's and O's coaching. I do think for every college football coach, that is the third most important right, thing. Right, they all know. I think the most important thing is can you get the players, and the second most important thing is what he might be one of one in the world at, which is firing up 18 to 21-year-olds moments before and getting them going. And I'm, I'm like everybody watching these videos like, man, Let's go. Like, and so I just feel 22 like 22 years old. The, yeah. <laughs> the, um, I don't. I mean, it just if he were at a program that already has institutional advantages, yeah. right? I well, feel like he, man, he may be, and able maybe to he'll do it himself. Nick Saban for recruiting. For sh- I mean, pretty challenge. Bro, he's already done. It. I think he, yeah. yeah, like going forward, just absolutely to, not to be like Mr. Coldwater. Yeah, they did allow 541 yards. Well, yeah, at zero tackles for a loss. But, they got Nebraska and Matt Rule up next, so this isn't uh, like Matt no, Rule is supposed to be on the come up. He just lost to Minnesota. They're project, they were projected to finish 11th in the Pac-12, and they, they were supposed to get beat by 20. That's, the, that's what you're they, right. If they were they, favorites in this is, game, you'd be looking at it totally they, differently. Their projected the win total. To if you wanted to bet on the Buffaloes this year, on their team, on their over under, you know how many games you had to win. They had to win for you to win your bet all year. Four. Oh, Their projected win total was that. three and a half right. as of 36 hours ago. Here's the other thing, Wiles, because, yeah, they, they yeah. part of you is feeling like, man, like even Dion's the clip we showed, it's just game one. Yeah. You, know, you need to be careful no, because other and people have, keep receipts too. But I, what I like when I saw in Dion is he was kind of like with the players, like, you know, we really haven't done anything yet. Like, he was keeping it in perspective. And they have a tough schedule. They've they got five more games against ranked right, teams. But he's keeping yep. it in yep. perspective. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Colorado they should State, not get the big Oregon game. put up 81 points yeah. against Portland State. Yeah. And then Caleb and then Utah to close the year. Okay.